I reckon this device could change the future of video games, particularly on the PC platform. This is a Stream Deck. It's arrived, finally. Um, I pretty much pre-ordered this uh, day one when they announced it, and it's only just turned up. It's the, the top range model, so the 512 gigabyte model with the anti-glare screen. Um, if you want me to do any sort of follow-up videos to this video, maybe testing the battery life or testing certain games, if you guys have any questions, leave your comments below. But let's unbox it. Let's do it. Russ, I'm not gonna lie, I have opened this up already. I, I won't lie. Because <laughs> I wanted to open it, obviously install some games and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, this is the package you get when you get the Steam Deck. Um, it sort of reminds me a little bit of the, um, what is it, the DS. Just the way it's, I don't know. Anyway, um, this is what you get. This is what you see when you get it. So this is obviously pretty, attention grabbing, hence the attention. They want you to plug it in straight away and power it on. Personally, I just uh, plugged it in and let it sort of charge. That's just what I did. So that put out of the way. And then we come to this little package here on the side. So it's almost like it's sold separately, but obviously it comes apart. It comes with the Steam Deck. So it's a USB-C plug, you can see just there. UK plug, lovely. So I've, I've obviously got quite a few of these already. Um, you can use battery power banks as well, one like this, or you may have some other USB plugs. You, it will work basically. And then you get the package itself. So this is the Steam Deck, ready to go, already in a case, which I love, I love that. Every handheld should have a case automatically. It, it, it just should. It, should, it should come with it. This makes perfect sense. Your gaming, so your games are going places, oh. Obviously that's obviously, it, it's, a, it's a handheld. You can use it on a plane, you can use it in your bedroom, you can use it in your living room, wherever you fancy. All right, let's take this sleeve off. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the case. So it's got the Steam Deck logo just here. It's got a little handle as well, very nice. Feels pretty good. It's got this little back compartment. Not quite sure what to do with this yet. I'll have to look into it, but there's a big gap here. Can you see that? A big old gap. Maybe I could put my plug there maybe, or some cables. It comes with this little pouch. I don't know what to do with this, but yeah, it's a big old. So this actually, this zip here, if you guys can see that, I don't know. There it is. The line on this video is terrible. I'm not a massive like unbox channel, so. Um, anyway, bear with me. <laughs> this was actually connected. Um, it's like a sort of valve security tag, I guess. I'm um, also taking it off. And then the Steam Deck is inside. Ooh. Honestly, I was so excited for this. I'm so excited for this device. The Steam Deck is here. Oh, very nice. Uh, first of all, I love the case. I think the case feels robust. It feels like it's can, it can take a hit or two, um, which I'm definitely a fan of. It feels, yeah, well built. I love the fact they're not trying to sell me um, obviously a handheld and I've got to buy a case afterwards. I love that. Uh, you've got a little lever thing here if you want to use that to easily get it out. And there it is, the Steam Deck. Um, also it comes with a little cleaning cloth so you can keep the, the, the screen nice and clean. Lovely. Right, here we have the Steam Deck. If I say Stream Deck, I do apologize. I keep getting, I don't know why I keep getting, my, my name's mixed up. Um, but here we have the Steam home button, very nice. Got this sort of traditional Steam sort of touch pads, which I haven't really used much yet. I used it to type and that's pretty much it. A very nice little D-pad over there. Uh, you got two thumbsticks. There's a fair amount of resistance there. They feel pretty nice. They feel pretty, I think there has been, I forgot, what's the term for it? Um, has been reports of these playing up occasionally, where there's obviously like a slight, is it drifting? That's what it's called. I forgot the name. I got the start button here, and the B button just runs, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's all curves off the edge of the deck, which is interesting. Hmm, very interesting. Um, on top we have the power button, the USB button, and there is generally a lot of heat coming out of here, like that's, yeah. It gets very hot around here. Headphone jack, which is very nice to see. Plus or minus for your volumes. 
on the back as I touch the screen. Ugh. Valve. Oh, yes. And you've got some extra buttons there as well. So a bit like the, the sort of pro controllers you can get. Might be quite good for some FPS, FPS games. Uh, these are the triggers, which are R2, L2, R1, L1. <laughs> Similar to the PlayStation format. Interestingly, the buttons are Xbox, and then the, the, the bumpers are PlayStation, which is kind of weird. Uh, yeah. Very nice, very nice feel. Sounds like they can take a beat in, which is nice. It feels like a well-built um, device for sure. Considering Steam doesn't really do many electronical devices, it, it feels decent. I reckon we should turn this on. Right, power button. Boot. Made a little noise there. Don't know if you guys heard that or not. Oh, look, the camera. Yeah, I've got a camera right in front of my face, so apologies if the gameplay isn't great. That's not really what this is about, but... Yeah, it takes a little while to turn on. That's a negative. Um, it gets very, very hot, particularly on, on, on the rear. And the battery can uh, drop quite quickly, depending on what game you play. Uh, let's play God of War first. So over here, every game will have this. Game info. Is that not info? Just about in focus. It's got a little tick there, which means it's been verified for the deck. Lovely. So that's great news. So it should work perfectly. Fingers crossed. Uh, let's actually play this game. Play. Let's see how long it takes to, to boot up, to play it, and all that jazz. God of War. Have played this a little bit already. I have been very impressed. What it does, absolutely ruin the battery. <laughs> it does. I mean, so even seeing that, PlayStation Studios is mad. Because now every Xbox game comes out on Steam. Every PlayStation game comes out on Steam. EA releases all of their games on Steam. This is a very cool device to own right now. No doubt about that. Uh, let's do, let's go down to settings quickly. Hopefully this is in focus. I can't tell from the screen what I'm looking at. Uh, graphics are set to original, which seems to be, as far as I can tell, okay. When I jumped in, weirdly it was set to ultra, which I think might be incorrect. Is it in focus? Yeah, there we go. So let's do a new game. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, this is gonna look good. Um, yep. Is it gonna jump straight in? Yep. Look at that. That's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. That is very impressive. Interested to f know how this to to f work out how this feels after maybe like an hour or two of playing on this deck. If we just quickly go to Steam here, you see my battery is at 72%. So I've got an hour and 11 playing this particular game. It's quite an intense game. Um, you, can, you can turn down the FPS if you want. You can turn down the, the brightness of the screen to try and save a bit of battery. But this is generally a pretty intense game on the battery. Other games I've played generally last a lot longer. All right, let's swing, baby. There's the right button, isn't it? RB, okay. Ooh. Do it again. A bit of a zoom in there. It looks really good. It feels like it's running really smooth. That is impressive. I'm so excited for this device. So PC gaming can be, for the average consumer, a little bit daunting. With all like the settings and stuff, can my PC run this? And I have noticed every new game that comes out recently normally has a little tick. Deck approved, ready for the deck. I mean, that's that's quite impressive. And the fact you have to worry about settings, you can jump into these games, 
You can use a battery power bank as well to play the games for longer. The speakers sound good. I'll turn it up a little bit. Speakers sound really good. This is a pretty... I mean, and also, a lot of people... We all have a lot of... A lot of Steam games. From Steam sales before, old games, new games. Right, that's enough of God of War, I think. That is very impressive. Um, I'm very impressed. Uh, you can quickly exit the game. I believe you can run multiple games, but I don't think that's advisable, honestly. Uh, one game I am very excited for is FIFA. Like the sports games on my deck. It, that, that, I like that idea quite a lot. Uh, quite a lot indeed. Um, I'm not sure if I, know, if I... Have I said this already? I don't know if I have. But downloads were a little bit slow. It does get hot. The Steam Deck definitely gets hot. Which is a slight concern. Uh, yeah, but generally, I'm, I've been very impressed. Very impressed indeed. Yeah, it does have to connect to Orange. It's, I've already signed in, so it shouldn't be too slow. It's just like running a Steam game on your PC. Oh, are you going to work or not? Yes. Uh, save local data. If it lets me. There we go. Are you going to work? I did have to download Origins to it. Oh, yeah, that's fine. This is one of those games that I don't believe has a tick next to it, so it's not deck verified. But it does it does work. It did work for me earlier anyway. Hello? Is it working? Please don't crash. That'd be super embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, the FIFA games, the F1 games. If I can play these games, like career mode would be perfect. FIFA career mode. Oh, I love the sound of that. I uh, will also check out a bit of F1 as well. Uh, for this one, I haven't changed any of the settings. It seems to run okay. Uh, remember, the resolution of this screen is not 4K or 1080. Is it 1080p? I think it's around 1080p. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure on the exact resolution. Um, quick little kickoff. But yeah. Um, <laughs> this, is, this, this is so cool. I love this idea. It makes PC games more approachable on a handheld device. How this game powers these games, I have no idea. It is madness. Uh, West Ham versus Millwall. Sure, 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 sure. Just want to get to the gameplay, really. So I can show you this guy's in action. Um, let me know in the comments, is there anything you, uh, you guys want me to check out to test battery life for a certain game? Had an issue with Fallout 3 where I, I wanted to play it and it was like, put the disc in. And I was like, um, okay. Can I skip this? Let me play. Is it loading? The almighty Millwall versus West. I'm a West Ham fan, by the way. In case you guys didn't know. Can I not skip this normally? Uh, I don't know you can skip this. Let me skip. There we go. <laughs> I've been pressing the wrong button. Yeah, the gameplay is going to be terrible, but we're just all looking at the, uh, the Steam Deck in action. Who's that? Kufau. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, what a tackle. You know, Suchek. Yeah, as long as Steam can make sure most new games are verified, ready to go at launch. I think that's big as well. I think it's a big deal. They can get more games verified. Normally, it might involve a little bit of help from the publishers as well. But generally, if it runs on PC, fine. It should run on this fine. So, yeah. Great news. Um, this you can you've seen the game in action now. Um, exit. We should check out a little bit of F122, which obviously just came out. And I believe is it does it have a tick on it? It does have a tick on it. Look at that. Uh, play. Yeah, apparently you can play in VR. How would that work? I don't know. That would be crazy. Can I, if I could plug a VR headset into it as well, 
No, surely not. Um, also, there's an SD slot as well, SD card slot, just there. So you can get a bit more space. This is the 500 gig model, anti-glare screen and all that. Just a little, little time trial. Uh, yeah, how's the uh, battery holding up? So you should, it does change on the fly pretty quickly. So it's an hour and 19 now. Oh, got some pit coins, lovely, lucky me. It, yeah, it just functions completely. Let's turn it down a little bit. Like the PC version of F1. How mad is that? Let's do F1 22, let's do the Red Bull. Max Verstappen just won in France, so let's do that. There it is. Pray this, this track will not be in the next year's game because France won't be in F1 next year. So, a little disappointing, I guess. Uh, go to track, flying lap, baby. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. A little close up. It's gonna be absolutely terrible. I'm looking through the camera. <laughs> this is not the best way to play. Yeah, the triggers work exactly the same as a controller. Got DRS on as well. Yeah, this is not an ideal way, ideal way to play, but we're just sort of seeing the game in action, really. So again, this has been verified, and it's uh, yeah, all good. Um, so a quick look at the settings again. So it's gone well up here. Look, hour and forty-nine, hour and fifty. So I can I can play this game for an hour and fifty minutes with no top up on battery. Um, obviously, that's a big difference compared to God of War. So yeah, works out quite well. So let's quit that. We we'll have a quick look at the settings. Also, look at my library. Uh, if we go to do, 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 library. So I've got 744 games. Yeah. Um, on the Steam Deck, but, uh, these are the ones that have been approved, basically. So they're great on the deck itself. 143 out of those 440, out of those 744 games. So pretty decent collection. We've got Batman, Bioshock, Call of Duty. The Insane Trilogy, Death Stranding, Days Gone, Dirt 5. There's a pretty decent collection here of really good games that work perfectly well on this device. Uh, some of the other games, like for example Fallout, may have a few issues, may have to do some workarounds, but generally it, it should work. If it works on PC, it should work on this device. Madness. <laughs> I am, if you can't tell, I'm a big fan. I think this is really going to change how we consume games on Steam. So display, uh, you can change the brightness. So the lower you have that, uh, the more time you'll get on the console without having to top up the battery. Audio, you can input your Bluetooth headphones and all that jazz, as well as a, a mic as well. Uh, Bluetooth, keyboard, controller, loads of sounds. Again, it feels like it is just directly from Steam. Um, here we have 283 gigs left. I think you guys can see that, there we go. Obviously see the games I've installed. They're not smaller. Um, I believe they're exactly the same size as, a, as the PC version, goes without saying. And yeah, um, very impressed with this device. Right, so that is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That is the Steam Deck ready to go. Um, negatives gets a little bit hot. Would be nice to have every game on Steam verified. Obviously that will happen hopefully with time and with, um, I guess, publisher help. I think it makes sense. I think these devices are gonna, I mean, they're selling out like hotcakes everywhere. They're so hard to get a hold of. It feels like a bit of like an old school bit of hardware, but clearly not. Like it's very impressive. The fact that I can run medium F122 on this is kind of mad. It's kind of crazy. And pretty much every, well, I guess every Steam game works on this device. I don't know of any games that are like super powerful that just aren't possible. Yeah, you can downscale it. The, the, obviously the resolution of this screen is not 4K. 
for obvious reasons. Um, and I love the fact PC games can be so incredibly daunting. If you can have a device like this, where I could buy Cyberpunk, it works automatically. Maybe I can select a, a 60 FPS mode or a 30 FPS mode, and I'm good to go. So like a, a PC uh, console handheld experience. I mean, yeah, this is gonna do very, very well. And the fact it's Steam as well, yeah, I'm excited. I love this device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely some cons, but a lot of positives. Also, you can take it apart yourself, which is kind of crazy. All the screws are there, ready to go. But yeah, it does get very hot, by the way. Like, very, very, very hot. I was playing F1 for about 15 minutes yesterday, and it was getting very hot behind your hands. But yeah, it, it, it was all right. <laughs> it was fine. See you guys soon, and bye-bye.